hello traders so welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i am going to share the first strategy based on the price action analysis this is the second part of our price action tutorial basic videos and let's get started so this is going to be the first strategy so we'll write it as the strategy number one i'm going to explain you the concept in an uptrend as well as in downtrend but first let's start with the uptrend so in an uptrend market will start from the low it goes up it formed high then it goes down it will form the higher low and higher high this is the point where we got confirmation that yes now market is moving in an uptrend and after that market will retrace back again will again run will retrace back will again run and that is how market moves in an uptrend now if you focus here you will say that this is the major trend and all the retracement here we can say that these are the minor trend it means that uh, the, uh, all the runs are the major trend and we have to focus on the minor trend because after the minor trend market again takes the direction of the trend which is uptrend in this case now let me remove all of this because it's kind of messy so what we have to do as a trader is to wait for the market to go up as soon as we got confirmation here that market is now moving in an uptrend in a minor trend or in a major trend market doesn't move straight like this it will always form the highs then lows then high then low and in a downtrend it will form low high low and high and that is how market moves so in a downtrend like this if we zoom it in here you will see that market is falling then it retraces then it falls then it retraces then it falls and this is the story of a minor trend now what you have to do as a trader is you have to draw the resistance line here trend line and you have to wait for the market to break the trend resistance as a confirmation that now market will shoot up up again so you have to wait for a breakout your stop loss will be uh, at the lowest point of that you can see this the swing low and your target will be the high the recent high like in this case if this is the minor trend this is going to be your target your entry will be around here and your stop loss is around here now as soon as you find the let me remove it again so this is the run retracement run and here you will see that market is moving in a minor downtrend this is our resistance trend line and this is the candle that we are talking about now as soon as you find the trend line uh, the breakout candle you will not take the entry you'll wait for the market to break the high of this candle and you will after that take the entry this is going to be your target and this is going to be your stop loss but the problem here is that in most cases you will find like uh, let me draw it for you in most cases if you take this as the target and this is your stop loss you will see that the risk to reward ratio is not good for you so in that case what you will do you'll go back in the past and you will take the history will try to find strong resistance which is present above this recent high somewhere around here and you will take that as the target and after that you will have the good risk to reward ratio and that's how you will enter you will find a breakout candle you will wait for the market to break the recent high of that breakout candle and then you will enter this is going to be your target or this and this is going to be your stop loss and that's how you can take the trade i will explain you with some example in this video so now let's move on to the downtrend as well so in a downtrend market start from high it formed low it formed lower high 
it formed lower low and as soon as it formed lower low this is where the downtrend has got confirmed now market will retrace back in the minor scale this is the support trend line will wait for the market to break this is our breakout candle this is our stop loss and this will be our target now if we didn't find a good risk to reward ratio we'll go back here we'll try to find support level strong support level in from the history from the past and then this is going to be our target we will enter our trade here stop loss and target you can use this strategy in any financial market so uh, it, it it's not a thing uh, that you can't use this strategy in a particular field you can use this in any chart you want except the options i'm not talking about the binary options i'm talking about the options chart because those charts are totally different so you can use it in community forex stock market binary option anything you like except the options chart so this is the strategy now let me exp uh, let me show you some example that i have find out i'm i'm going to use this chart i'm using one hour chart as you can see so we'll start from the downtrend first and uh, let's find a strong downtrend here as you can see here this is the high this is the low this is the lower high and this is the lower low our downtrend got confirmed here this is where the downtrend got confirmed this is again the minor trend major minor major and here if you look carefully this is again the minor trend and if we draw a trend line here the trend support this is our breakout candle this is where the market you can see this is the breakout candle this is the lowest point we will enter here so our entry is here stop loss is here and this is going to be our target Now, if you look carefully, our risk to reward ratio is completely fine and you can take the trade. But if you didn't got the uh, good ratio, you can always go back. You will see that this is the point where we can have a good ratio and look here, our target got achieved easily. So this is the first example. Now let's move on. To see if we have more and you can see this is also a strong downtrend let's start from here again so this is the high low this is the lower high and this is the lower low our downtrend got confirmed here this is the minor trend and let's try to draw and okay we'll go like this so this is the minor trend uptrend this is the breakout candle we got entry here let me this is the entry this is our stop loss and you can see this is our target but the risk is high than the reward so what we will do we'll go back we'll try to find if we have any resistance which i don't seem to find so what you can do in this case is you can take a risk to reward ratio which is one to one because having a one to one risk to reward is a good thing so you can go up to like this and you can achieve your target easily and i guess we can have more yes you can see the downtrend is still working on here and if we go like this 
this is the minor trend this is the breakout candle our entry is here our target is this this is our target this is our stop loss and you can see it's quite a good uh, risk to reward ratio almost one to two which is very very good and you can see that the target is achieved successfully now let's try to find more example and i can see a strong downtrend here as well so okay here you can see the downtrend is started from here this is the high low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low up to now i didn't find that support trend line which i can use and here also you can see that there is a flat level i am not using any kind of a flat support level in this case because i am working on the trend line strategy so if you want to take you can take but the strategy that i am explaining you is completely based on the trend line only and here i can see a good okay so this is our trend support it's been broken here and here you can see as i was explaining you that at the end you will find that this is our entry this is the breakout candle now this could be our target but you can see the entry is uh, by itself is below the target level so what we will do we'll go in the history we'll try to find strong levels which i can see is present here you will try to find the match which you can see this is the support and we can easily achieve that one to one ratio which is achievable here so if you use this strategy in a downtrend you can easily achieve that risk to reward ratio now let's try to find some uptrend example because i have already explained you so much so let me find an, an uptrend and uh, okay so uptrend started here so you can see this is the low this is the low this is the high this is the higher low this is the higher high higher low higher high sorry this is not the higher high this is the higher high now as you can see this is the minor trend if we draw a trend line this is the breakout candle our entry is here this is our target and this is our stop loss now you can see the risk to reward ratio is not matching here which means that you have to go to find other level which i can see is here which is 1.1881 1 1.1881 and you can see that our target is achieved with 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio and uh, this is the first example we can find more i guess and here also the uptrend started this is the low high higher low higher high and uh, again breakout here this is the low we are targeting this this is the entry now we can't use that as the target so we will go in the past and we can use this which is also not sufficient so in some cases you can also speak, uh, skip this uh, the strategy as you can see the target can be achieved but uh, the previous two resistance level are very near and the next one is here so in such cases you can avoid taking the trade because you will going to find infinite opportunities no matter what 
so um this is okay so we have got two example and let's try to find more example i don't see any strong example let's go back more this is a good uptrend okay it started from here so this is the low high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low and this is a good minor trend it's been broken here our entry is here the target is here the stop loss is here let me check if we have sufficient target which i don't seem to find we'll go in the past we'll try to find different level which is i can see eight five we'll go to eight five and you can see it's a good one to two one to one point two which is a good thing uh the risk to reward is fine and the target is achieved easily so that is how you can find let's try to find more example i have explained you around six to seven example let's try to take one more this is a good uptrend so let's try to find the last example here so the uptrend started from here this is the low high higher low higher high the uptrend is confirmed here and uh, you can use it but uh, i don't uh, think that this is a good example because the touches are not good let's try to find different some okay and here market is moving in an uptrend yes this is a good example so as you can see this is our breakout but uh, the entry doesn't got triggered here because market doesn't broke the high of the candle and okay that is enough i guess we can you can also take after having good practice you can take these small breakout as well you can see these are the breakouts that you can also work on you can see here in a downtrend you can work on these breakout 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 you can see you will find plenty amount of opportunities you can see this is also a breakout and again a breakout you can see so many opportunities i can draw it in in front of you so that is how you can use the strategy i hope that you have learned something good from this video how you can use it let me recap the strategy again it's a simple thing let me draw it very neatly and this is the retracement this is the run and what you will do you will take this minor downtrend as the opportunity you will draw a trend resistance and you will wait for the market to break this is the entry the high of the candle the next resistance as the target this is the stop loss and that's how you can use it in an uptrend the downtrend is simple you have to just make it opposite and you will end up having a good strategic video
so that is how you can trade using this strategy the upcoming videos will cover the next two strategies that i am been working over for you guys i hope that you have learned something out of this video if you have doubt you can ask me in the comment section and try this uh, strategy and let me know what are the results that you are that you guys are having and those who are trading with the five minute binary option strategy you can use the same setup you can enter your trade as soon as market broke the high and take a five minute trade this is the breakout candle and after the breakout candle the five minute setup will start no matter uh, uh, like uh, if you got the opportunity in, in the next candle or after the next candle you will take a trade based on the breakout only in the next video i'm thinking of taking a trade using the same strategy so that you guys can apply it in the binary option as well for those who are using it in stock market or forex or community financial market you can use it as i have explained you in this video but for those who are trading with binary options i'm going to have some live example using the same strategy so that you guys don't have any doubts in your mind so that is it for today thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video till then keep trading keep working hard good day